Okay, people, what is going on? What is going on? It is... Boy. It's August 4th. Two minutes to midnight. No, two minutes after midnight. It is 12.02 a.m. August 4th. I should be in bed. And instead, I'm out here... I'm out here in the middle of the Raxiverse, checking things out, seeing what we got going on. How's it going, everyone? Here I am. Here's my co-host over on the other side. You see him, Big Ed, Perk 30. Got to have a little help doing this shit, little uh, bodyguard, you know. He's protecting my family and my friends. It is not right here, it ain't. <laughs> okay, but anyways, well, what's going on in the world of the Cyrax in the racks of verse? I maybe it's just me, but I haven't seen haven't seen anything new about him over the past few days. He, uh, of course, you ain't going to find nothing on YouTube because he uh, he's gotten banished from YouTube. His Rumble account seems to be gone. Um, nobody's really talking anything new about him on Facebook, so I don't know what's up. Any Anyone know? I'm not sure, but I figured, well, since it's a slow time, we would all hop in the Cyrax time machine, go back a few years, and uh, do a little bit of history work. You know, a few days ago, maybe about a week ago, I did a video on the two heathers. It was called Two Heathers and a Goblin. It was about um, Cyrax actually had real girlfriends, actual real girlfriends, <coughs> not catfishes, but real girlfriends, and both of them were named Heather. But anyways, we're not going to watch that again. We're here to talk about another young lady that was in this... Um, in Cyrax's life. Her name was Abby. Right there she is. I don't know all that much about her. I believe she was in the show around maybe 2017 or something like that. And I don't know if I was... I probably knew who Cyrax was, but just didn't pay much attention, you know? I don't know. It's hard to say. That's been... doesn't seem like it, but 2017, that's been... God, seven years ago. Hey, wait. Seven years, Marty! <laughs> yeah, but this shit show here with this girl... Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why any girl would get involved with him. I don't know if Abby was even a real girl... Or maybe just a catfish. Someone obtained pictures of this person and sent it to him. It's hard to say. I don't know. Anyone know the truth? Just throw it in the uh, comment section. You know, was Abby a real person? Or was it just another catfish situation? But what I do know about Abby is that she... Apparently was missing an arm. She had been in an accident involving a train. I don't know if the train hit a car she was in or maybe hit her or what, but she lost an arm. You can see she has some sort of a harness around her upper chest. I don't I believe that's to hold on a prosthetic arm. I don't know, that's a terrible thing, you know. Hate to think about that. But, yeah, stay off the tracks, people. Stay off the tracks. I used to play on train tracks when I was a teenager. And, you know, <laughs> lucky nothing bad happened. Just stay off the damn tracks. Of course, hopefully we're all adults now and we know better than that. But, yeah, watch tracks when you cross them. You know, just be careful out there. Some crazy things can happen. But anyways, um, our girl here. 
somehow she meets up with Cyrax. I don't know how. I don't know why. But they develop a relationship. And you know how all relationships go with Cyrax. Just full of drama. Full of drama always. So, let's start out here by watching this video. Get it pulled up here. This one's called Chance Wilkins, Abby, I Love You. You can find it on the Raxology Cyrax, uh, I mean, Raxology YouTube channel. Once again, Abby, I love you. Such a sweet young man. The audio ain't too great on this. The video's kind of messed up as well. But we'll make do. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's crying again. Cry racks. We got a cry racks going on. That's not surprising. Ed, get your boy under control. He's crying again. Yeah, like I said, the video ain't that great. The quality. That's how it is. I, I didn't mess up my audience. I really don't. I do love you, Abby. I hope the audio is okay. I don't know, but what I do know is that I love you. <laughs> You're everything to me, Abby. You really are everything to me, Abby. Here, I'll pull up the closed caption in case, in case the audio... I'm not sure if the audio is coming through or not. I can barely hear it on my end. We'll start it over. Look at that face. What is he doing? <laughs> Cry racks. Come on, boy, do something. Don't just sit there and cry like a bitch. I really don't. I do love you, Abby. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know, but what I do. Know I guess he he feels that people are trying to break them up. You know how that goes. You're everything to me, Abby. You really are everything to me, Abby. <laughs> Abby, I love you so much. Oh, he loves her. Abby, you are everything. They've probably known each other for a I don't whole know three I days at this, this point. I don't know. I really don't know, but what I do know is that I do love you, and I would never, ever do anything to hurt you, ever. Reminds me of those stupid high school romances, you know, back when you was a kid, a teenager. Of course, though, he never left that mindset. He never left that mindset. He still thinks he's a teenager. So I'm asking you, please, please don't go. Oh, don't tell me Abby's wanting I to break you, up Abby, with him. I love you. This video is pretty Abby. short. More than you know. He loves Abby more than she knows. Abby, I do love you. I really enjoy do. Yeah, right. Whatever. I do love you. 
You are the best thing that's ever, ever, ever happened to me, and I mean that. I bet at this point he had, he had probably barely known this girl, probably only known her for a few days, and already confessing his love to her. It's just how weird he is. It's just how weird people... Like I say, that's how you know high school romances go. Okay, I think we got a few more videos here we can watch. Okay, this one here. I don't know. I want to watch these kind of in order. We'll see what this one is. I forget exactly. But um, if you guys don't remember, Abby did only have one arm. She did give me a little bit of good news that I am happy for her about, which is, um, if you guys don't remember, she went in to get her arm done, and I actually did out a 3D design for the doctors. Did you all catch that? Did you all catch that? It's talking about how, you know, she only had one arm. She lost an arm. He claims he did out a 3D design for her doctors to create her an arm. Our boy here, that head, that thing right there, created, designed a prosthetic uh, bionic arm for that girl. Let me play that back for you in case you missed it. He's such a genius. But um, if you guys don't remember, Abby did only have one arm. She did give me a little bit of good news that I am happy for her about, which is, um, if you guys don't remember, she went in to get her arm done, and I actually did out a 3D design for the doctors. They liked it, and believe it or not, they actually showed it to the right company. Um, this has to be one of his top ten lies. He's known for lying. He's known for making up some doozies. This has to be one of the best ones ever. Yet it seems to have went ignored. It doesn't seem like many people noticed it. Or it just kind of faded away and people forgot about it. But damn. The ideal that that goon... That troglodyte there could design a prosthetic arm, you know, make a 3D design for a prosthetic arm is just, oh my God, it's just hilarious. What on earth is he thinking? And they actually approved for her new prosthetic arm that's fully functional. And it's actually one of the very first of its kind that allows for feeling, full rotation, and she doesn't have to have that strap like she does with her regular one. It's actually, you're going to be attaching it to her nervous system. This, this guy here wants you to believe he designed that. He designed this arm that can be attached to the nervous system. Maybe he could design an arm... For the drummer from Def Leppard, um, Rick Allen lost his arm in an automobile accident many years ago, but still he learned to drum, played drums with just one arm. He's still going today. Maybe, maybe our boy could make him a new arm too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the craziest shit ever. That's the biggest lie. Damn, man. There you go. There you go. Terminator. Remember the Terminator movies? I don't know who. I mean, who hasn't seen Terminator? 
first one, at the very end of the first one, they crush the Terminator in some sort of industrial press. And one of the last things you see is its arm kind of wiggling the fingers and its eye and the skull kind of goes dim. Then in the second one, you find out that this company, Cyberdyne Systems, had taken that skeletal remains and they took like the arm and use it to develop all these um, uh, robotic Terminator type um, God, what am I trying to say? You know, if you've seen the movie. Yeah, but <laughs> Cyrex designed that, buddy. Right there you go. That's the arm for his woman. <laughs> I'm sorry. This shit's just so damn funny. <laughs> I do that he could do that. He thinks he can do anything. People like that, they really think they can do anything and if they can't do it, it means it's not real. I got this theory, you know, and I know it might piss off a few people out there, but these people who think the, uh, yeah, the moon landing was faked, these people that think the moon landing was faked, it's just part of their ego. The fact that they don't understand how it was done, they can't grasp how it was done. Thus, that means if they don't understand how it was done, it must have not ever happened. It couldn't have happened. You know, they look at it as being some sort of fake, you know, that it's not real. Because, hey, I can't do it. I don't understand how they did it. So it can't be real. Oh, but anyways, I'm getting off track again. Let's get these... Terminator arms out of the way. Hope I didn't delete the wrong thing there. Probably did. Yeah, let's play that again. That's just so damn hilarious for him to say that. I think I went too far back. The thing I've ever had to do in my life was off a bridge or off a cliff, I'd be right there beside her holding her hand jumping. I'm sorry, I'm belching from drinking this. I shouldn't do that on camera. I let it out and then it clicks in my head. Wait. Don't but do Abby, that. If you guys don't remember, Abby did only have one arm. She did give me a little bit of good news that I am happy for her about, which is... Um, if you guys don't remember, she went in to get her arm done. And I actually did out a 3D design for the doctors. And they liked it. <laughs> and believe it or not... He made a 3D design for a... He could make a 3D design for a turd. Come on, man. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. Ed, get your boy, Ed. Get your boy. Take him home and, and lock him up. Get that computer away from him. You hear me, Ed? They actually showed it to the right company. Um, and they actually approved for her new prosthetic arm that's fully functional. And it's actually one of the very first of its kind that allows for feeling, full rotation, and she doesn't have to have that strap like she does with her regular one. It's actually, you're going to be attaching it to her nervous system and doing it that way, which oh, God. I don't see how that's going to work. But, I don't either. You know, with technology <laughs> being... If you designed it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Jesus Christ. If he put a motor in an airplane and fly backwards. Ugh. Let's see. Let's get that one out of the way. Got one more of these. I don't. I don't know if I can take it. <laughs> I don't know. Because it just gets better. It just gets better. Okay, people. Apparently, there's trouble in paradise. Abby's parents found out about Cyrax, and they did not approve. I don't understand why. 
you know, some of these parents are so, you know, just stuck up haters. You know, your daughter gets a beautiful, intelligent man like this. You should grasp onto that. You should encourage that relationship. You know, but no, not these people. Let's go here. You really don't. I did nothing wrong. Tiff did nothing wrong. Uh, Neither did Abby. Was it was her parents controlling her. Her parents. The damn parents. Not me, not Tiff, All not the time. anyone else. All the time, them parents getting out there, getting in the way of young love. You know, them parents, they, they're old and they just, they just want to get in the way. Because they don't, they're jealous. They're jealous. They don't want their daughter to have this beautiful relationship that they never had. So, you know, they're, they're going to split them up. You know how parents are. And like I said, I did nothing wrong. So don't you sit there and blame me for something I didn't do. Don't blame me. That's fucked up, and it's low. Jesus. And you want to know why Abby's parents split us up? Because they'd rather believe a lying bitch of an ex of mine over me who is telling the fucking truth. They want to control Abby. They want her fucking money. They don't care about Abby. They really don't. What they care about is her money because of her disability. They think I'm some random guy when I'm not. I truly cared about her. I <laughs> gave a fuck about her. Yeah, you're certainly, you certainly aren't just some random guy because I think a random guy would be much more sane than you. <laughs> oh, boy, what did I do here? What did I do, David, David? Quit clicking shit. You'll mess it up again. When she needed help with the driving test... Who was there helping her study? Me. Who was there to help her through all the bullshit, through all the ups and downs? He helped this guy. This guy here. If you know, if you don't know anything about him, he ain't never drove a car. The closest thing he's came to driving a car, he's got this damn racing video game in his bedroom with the little steering wheel. He plays that, and he's terrible at it. And here he is claiming that he taught that girl with one arm how to drive a car. Jesus. What they care about is her money because of her money. disability. Damn they think parents. I'm some random guy when I'm not. Damn I truly parents. cared about her. I gave a fuck about her. When she needed help with the driving test, who was there helping her study? Me. Who was there to help her through all the bullshit, through all the ups and downs in life. It wasn't anybody else. It was me, and it was Oh, Tim. Jesus Christ, man. And what Abby's parents are doing is beyond fucked up. And nice. little do you guys know that last night, Abby tried killing herself last night by putting a gun to her head because of them and what they're fucking doing. <laughs> now, tell me that's not a bitch move because of them. Which arm did she... Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> What they're doing is causing bullshit. Uh, they want to control uh, her. And I'm sorry if you get offended, but you know what? I'm being fucking crazy. honest. And I'd rather be an asshole and be honest rather than be a fake and a coward. Because that's exactly what Abby's parents are. They're fucking cowards. You could tell this is a long time ago because the head, no scabs on it. Look at it. No scabs on his face, none on his head. It's odd, ain't it? They use people. And well, something you guys may not know. Her father, her own dad, molested her from the age of 17 to 18 and got away with it. Oh, my and goodness. And you told me that's not fucked up. So don't sit there and tell You know, a young girl being molested, that's never anything to laugh at. But in this situation... 99.9% .9 certain it never happened. Either he's making it up, either the girl ain't real. Just some Cyrax drama. That's all it is, Cyrax drama. 
tell me what's right and not right. I did nothing but look after her. Man. I was there for her when she needed someone. And like I said, I'm sorry if I'm pissing you guys off for offending you, but you know what? I'd rather be open and honest about the fucking truth. Because I was raised better than that. I was raised to not lie. I was raised to treat people with respect. I learned right from wrong. But apparently her parents don't know right from wrong. They'd rather use her for money and fuck with her. They would rather control her. I don't give a fuck if Abby has disabilities or not. I don't care about that. What I cared about was her. But what happened? Her parents decided to get involved because they don't like me because of what my ex did and started shit. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Shut that down. <laughs> Sally getting on his ass. What? Hey, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. No wonder people don't like you. <laughs> Like I said, I'd rather be an asshole and be on. Did you hear that shit, man? Sally getting on his ass. Or not. I don't care about that. What I cared about was her. But what happened? Her parents decided to get involved because they don't like me because of what my ex did and started shit. Hey. Hmm. Did you hear that grunt? Hmm. Chance. Hmm. This looks like a totally different room he's in. I mean, I'm sure it's the same house, but, you know, he's not filming in the attic or the basement. Looks like maybe the living room. Hmm. Shut that down. What? Hey, you watch your mouth. No wonder people don't like you. <laughs> no wonder people don't like you. I know I don't like him. Like I said, I'd rather be an asshole and be honest than to sit there and hide shit. And you want to sit there and say that I'm a loser? Because I'm being honest about what... You are. Well, I can't play through all this shit. We're already 30 minutes into this just about. I know you're this. Too fucking... You're too fucking proud. I think I'm pissed off anyone, but you know what? I would rather be honest. Blame the real people responsible. I'm sorry you lost your best friend, yes. But I'm not responsible for that. The people uh, responsible. Shut up. God damn you. Just shut up, man. Just shut up. I want to hear him one more time talk about how he developed this prosthetic arm and then we'll call it a night okay let's see here but um, if you guys don't remember Abby did only have one arm she did give me a little bit of good news that I am happy for her about which is um, if you guys don't remember she went in to get her arm done and I actually did out a 3D design for the doctors they liked it and believe it or not they actually showed it to the right company um, and they actually approved for her new prosthetic arm that's fully functional and it's actually one of the very first of its kind that allows for feeling full rotation and she doesn't have to have that strap like she does with her regular one it's actually you're going to be attached this picture here you can't see the whole head apparently from what I've found this is Abby I gotta say I don't know if Abby was actually really in contact or if this was just some pictures that someone got a hold of and was catfishing him. I don't know. I hope. I, I don't think there's a good outcome either way of it. Yeah. This fucker. He's been catfished so many times. You know, it's just so many 
you think he would quit falling for shit. You think he'd say, you know what, I'm staying off social media. But he don't. He don't. I don't get it. Maybe though, once he, uh, like I say, <coughs> it would be nice. I don't know. I mean, <coughs> damn, I'm sorry. I'm getting choked. <coughs> the man has lived without an arm for probably longer than he had an arm. But maybe, maybe Rick Allen, maybe Cyrex can design him an arm as well. <coughs> the drummer from Def Leppard, one arm. <coughs> Jesus, I'm sorry, I'm getting choked here. Getting all choked up thinking about Cyrex and his love life. God almighty. Rick Allen, though, man, one arm. He drums, and he still plays drums. Great, man. Yeah, but... <laughs> I don't know if you've got any better info on um, the Cyrex Abbey love life. If you know if this was just a, another hoax just to mess with him, or if she was actually a real girl that he was actually involved with, just throw it in the comments because, you know, always up and open for info. Yeah. But anyways, let's uh, just shut her down here. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Remember, if you lose an arm or a leg, there's the man to go to right there. He could design you one. He could get you right back in good working condition. Yeah. So take care, everybody. I'm out of here.